Around this time last year, I remember doing a live stream about what my plan for 2018 would be and what, what my plan for uh, my business would be. Initially, I planned by the end of 2019 that I would um, get a retail store. That happened in June and then again in August. So I believe the plan worked fairly well for 2018 and it only continues to get better. So as I move into 2019, one thing I can anticipate is it's going to be a very... Um, we're going to have to work really hard in 2019 because, you know, when you get a retail store, you have a lot more work, a lot more customers, and those customers want their stuff done quick. Um, so I want to focus on a few things in 2019. One is with board repair, I want to find a few other competent board level technicians. This is probably going to be the hardest challenges I'm going to have, especially in this area, but we're going to see how it goes. By the end of 2019, I want at least two other board level technicians, possibly one just a basic basic technician um, that handles customer service and disassembly and then another uh, you know another board level technician that can do stuff you know very well so we'll see how that goes um, in addition um, with the YouTube channel I'm gonna let it go how it goes um, you know just see how it plays out I know I'm not the best on camera I tend to be a fairly awkward person on camera and on live streams However, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to put videos out there, and I'm going to see how it goes. To those that don't want to watch it, don't watch it. To those that want to comment nonsense saying, oh, you failed fixing this board, and you did this, and this isn't professional, and this can't be a customer's board because there's no way you did this to a customer's board, where's your retail store? I don't see you fixing any logic boards on your channel, so what's your problem? You know, one thing a lot of people don't understand on uh, my channel and a lot of other, other channels too I don't usually live stream that easy backlight driver or that easy corroded clock chip on a MacBook Air. It's just not how I do things. I tend to stream the stuff that I don't want to fix to the stuff, the worst stuff in the queue that's going to take hours to fix or may not even be fixed. So that's another thing. It's like you see a lot of the videos on my channel, and if you don't know what you're doing, you may say, well, this guy doesn't know how to fix anything. There's almost nothing that he fixes on his channel. Well, that's not the case. Usually I just stream the hard stuff. You know, the stuff that's hard, I decide... You know, let's do a live stream. Let's show show someone how to fix this when it gets this hard. Oftentimes, it's not not successful, like that one board with the hole in it. You know, just no more you can do. So, another thing is with um, I've been getting a lot of pushy customers. Now, behind every pushy customer, there's like five good ones. And what I kind of want to work on is kind of either trying to change those customers' mindsets about the pushiness and you know, maybe even just getting rid of those completely and focusing on the customers that treat me right. You know, to the customers that don't pay my invoices on time or that call me every day about an update, you know, just it, you're wasting time dealing with that person because there are better customers behind that person that that one person is changing your mood on. So you don't um, tend to deal with the rest as well as you would if you didn't have to deal with that one person that keeps blowing up your phone and complaining and leaving you bad reviews and stuff like that. One very important thing in business is customer retention. And what I want any, everyone to realize is oftentimes these customers that are pushy and calling you and just want everything the minute they snap their fingers, these people honestly sometimes believe that they are your only customer and that you need them for business and when when people get this attitude it tends to be a very bad attitude and it makes them have a very bad attitude to you you don't want to deal with these people because for one these people do not care about you and your business the next minute that someone offers logic board repair for ten dollars cheaper than you they're going to jump on that guy to go have them fix their boards rather than you because they don't care they, these people just care about themselves on most times I'm not saying this is always the case but this is what I find is most times that these customers that are so pushy with you they don't care about you they only care about themselves they don't care about your business and they're generally just not good to deal with this is why you should focus on the customers that are treating you right you know when when a customer is saying take your time I know you're busy I know you know you have a lot of work in these are the custom these are the type of customers that you want to deal with, not the person that's calling you every day saying, well, I need my customer's Mac done. I need it today. I need it by this time today or else I'm going to go find someone else. These kind of customers don't waste your time on because it's just going to end badly. And that's something I need to continuously remind myself about, about those customers that are pushy, that you can pr most likely do without, without them because they will... Well, here's the thing. When someone calls you multiple times a day and is rude and condescending and just just being out of line, that tends to affect your mood. 
when someone is acting like that to you, you tend to be put in a bad mood. That bad mood is going to affect how you deal with the rest of your customers. You know, you might get one of your good customers that you may not work on their device that day because that one person got you so, you know, upset or whatever that you may put their device off or, or who knows, you know. So that's why if someone acts rude, and this is something I'm going to try and focus on, treat others how you expect to be treated, seriously, especially when you come into a business. One I don't work for other retail stores. You cannot treat me as if I am your employee. If you come in acting rude, bossy, I can choose not to deal with you. That's the thing. There is zero reason, and I mean zero reason, why you need to be rude to people when you go into their store. It's just not, you know, it's not, you just, there's zero reason for it. There's no excuse for it. So one thing I'm going to focus on is just don't deal with these people because the, you could do without them. It's going to affect how I'm how I'm doing business. It's going to create a lot less stress in my life, and it will generally leave a lot of because a lot of times you notice is these kind of people are the the people that are going to send you the the boards they've refilled the GPU on or that they've replaced 50 things on the board then send it to you, and that wastes your time and then that turns in turn affects your turnaround time because you're busy fixing that one board that someone destroyed. Another thing that I realized having a retail store is that I need to broaden my services. There are some customers that come to me for, you know, general PC repair, iPhone screen repair, iPad screen repair, whatever, and that I would normally refer to another local shop. Now, I'll, I'll admit, in 2018 and prior years, I've had a really stupid method of thinking. I'll think, well, you know, the local stores that outsource work to me do these kind of things, and if I do these kind of things, they're going to get upset not to send work and not going to send work to me anymore. You know, that's a stupid, stupid way of thinking. Seriously, if they don't want to send work to me, they don't have to. If they're going to get upset because I am doing a service that they're doing on the same level playing field, oh well. You know, that's a, a pretty dumb method of thinking on their part, not mine. If you get upset at someone for doing a similar thing that you're doing, because you think that you, something in your mind thinks that you have to be the only one that's allowed to do that service in, the, in that one area, that's just stupid. It's sad. It's honestly sad that you think that you will be the only one that that's allowed to do that in the area. That's a messed up way of thinking, and that's just not a way to go through life. So in 2019, I'm going to be adding a few, a few services to my list, including iPhone screen repair, iPad screen repair, and general PC repairs. Now, these kind of things, I'm most likely not going to be doing them. Um, I may do them for a couple months and then hire someone to do these things because I don't really want to change screens on phones. It's time-consuming and takes time away from me when I could be fixing a logic board. So most likely, I'll do these for a couple months until the, the, the income from these gets stable, and uh, then I'll hire someone to do the general repairs. And this may very well end up being a person that I train to do board repair down the line. I don't know. It depends on the person. Who knows what's going to happen? And then... Lastly, one thing I want to accomplish with my YouTube channel this year is to encourage others. There are people that most likely watch my channel now that are going to end up having stores in one, two years, maybe even less time. And I want to share my struggles, I want to share my mistakes, and my successes to help those that are going to be starting their own stores. I'm going to try to upload more often, and I really hope that some of my videos encourage and help those who are in a similar or so in a similar position or that will be in a similar position to I am, that I am. So I think 2019 is going to be a great year for business. I think it's going to end a great year, and I think, uh, think things are going to go well. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes with the YouTube channel. If the YouTube channel fails and stays at 1,000 subscribers, big deal. I don't really care. Maybe it'll grow. Maybe it won't. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try, like I said, I'll try and put a little bit more effort into making videos. I already did. I got a a new mic and uh, you know a better adapter so you can actually see what I'm doing so we'll see how it goes and uh, I will see you in the next video